Hi, today I want to talk about how to bake bread using a Dutch oven. In the first part of the video, I want to quickly talk about the advantages of using a Dutch oven. In the second part of the video, I want to show you how to actually bake using a Dutch oven. The advantages. You want to have a lot of steam when baking bread. Steam is super important because that means that no crust is formed initially. This means you're going to have a lot, lot more oven spring. That's why the Dutch oven is so perfect. You have a lid, it's completely closed. So all the water that evaporates during the baking process is going to be trapped right inside. This is really, really super easy to do. All you need to do is preheat your Dutch oven and place the loaf directly inside and you will have sufficient steam. Simply placing a tray inside of the oven is not enough. It's not creating enough steam. There are other ways how to create more steam, but using the Dutch oven is probably the most simple one. So yeah, the only disadvantage I can think of is that you cannot bake multiple breads at the same time, very likely in a home, ov home oven because the oven is too small. Likely you will only be able to bake one bread at a time, which is perfect for the home baker, but on a larger scale, this setup is not sufficient. All right, this is my dough, which I prepared. I already shaped it and placed it in the fridge for 24 hours. You can see that it really nicely increased in size. I like to ferment in the fridge because this gives me a consistent environment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the loaf directly on the preheated top of the Dutch oven. Just like that. Place it on top of the Benetton and flip around. See, that's super easy and it's also really good because it's very protective with the dough. Now, remove the Benetton and there you go. Look at this nicely fermented loaf. Now you need to hurry a little bit because the Dutch oven is already very, very warm. But we need to do one last step, we need to score it. With scoring you can be as creative as you like. Some people will make a cross, in this case I like to make a spiral. I just find that this looks super super rustic on a German rye wheat bread. So I kind of like this pattern. Be very gentle while you score, swift and fast. That's about it. Now all you need to do is Take the top part of the Dutch oven and place it on top again. This way all the steam is going to be trapped, just like that. Yeah, it's super hot, so be fast. Now place this in the oven like that and bake it for 25 minutes lid covered and then another 20 minutes without the lid. That's basically it. This is a really easy way to get amazing bread.